Welcome to ACE Teachers Online, a series of tutorial videos for students. My name is Suryanj and we're going to go through a UMAT Section 1 problem solving question. What we have here is a typical Section 1 problem solving question. And more often than not, these questions are going to be very time consuming. So what we need to do is develop a succinct and systematic way of approaching these questions to make sure we get them right and in quick time. So what we have here is a typical section one problem solving question where we've been given information and then asked to find a solution to a particular problem. So there are two main things that we need to identify. What is our kind of statements or information and then what's our rule? So over here we have all our kind of information. But our rule or the important thing here is that only one of them is telling the truth. Now, what we're going to need to do is rather than you know, jumping into like guessing and checking and trying to do everything in our head, which not only is it a risky method, but more often than not, it's not effective and it's time consuming. We're going to try to develop a systematic way of approaching the question, which we can guarantee that we're correct and do it in a quick manner. The best way of approaching this particular question is to draw up a table where we can visualize all our data and then understand whether it particularly works with our rule. So, the table we're going to design is going to work on this particular premise where we're going to assume that Alex, Bob, Chris or David has stolen the cookie and then work out how the statements are true or false in that particular situation. So we'll design a table like the one we have here right now. So as you can see, we've de designed it such that we compare a thief or in a particular world where A, for example, is the thief with how the statements are. With, for example, would A statement be true or false? And that way, we're going to identify who is telling the truth and in what situation. So let's go through A together. So in this particular world, when the worlds, when I say, or universes, are these columns where A, for example, has stolen the cookie in this particular place, B, and then C, and then D. And we're going to work out whether statements are true or false. So if A is stolen the cookie, then his statement that it was Bob would be false. Similarly, Bob's statement that no, it was Chris would be false. And then Chris's statement that it wasn't me would be in fact true, because it's A who stole the cookie here. And then we look at David's statement, which is I know Bob's a liar. Clearly Bob here is telling a lie, which would mean David's statement is in fact true. So what we do is once we've finished our case, we're going to compare it with our rule and see if it fits. So we look at it. Our rule is that only one of them is telling the truth. And clearly here we have two people telling the truth. So A did not steal the cookie. Now we do the same thing for persons B. C and D, or where they have stolen the cookie. So, once we've finished our case and identified whether each statement will be true or false in these particular situations, we then can check each of them with our rule. We identified previously that the case where A was a thief doesn't work, and we'll look at B. So in the case where B stole it, we have two truths and two lies, which again violates our rule. We look at C, we have three people telling a lie, and only one of them is telling the truth. Therefore, we know that for this particular situation to work, C would have to be the person who stole the cookie. But just to be absolutely sure, we'll check D. Clearly, in the world where D has stolen the cookie, we have two people telling a lie and two people telling the truth. So, we can identify now that C is the person who's stolen the cookie in a 100% sure manner, and we've finished the question effectively. So, the take home message from this really is whenever encountering a section one problem solving question, always try to visually represent your data in graphs, tables, or whatever works, because more often than not, that's going to be quick, concise, and correct. Thanks so much for watching. 
To see our previous video, click here. To see our next video, click here. And for more information on ACE, click on the link down below. Should I like a series of gang signs? Like, what's up? It's it's your boy, so much. Ace is back.